Now, hockey was always India's second sport ever since India won the Cricket World Cup in 1983. In the current times, it has competition from some Olympic sports like badminton. It has needed to be resurrected time and again. Now, the alumni of certain premier boarding schools of India, who are rivals otherwise, came together to do their bit to give a push to hockey. NETV's Richard Sojatia reports. Cheers of excitement and joy fill the air at Delhi's Major Dhyanchand National Stadium this Sunday evening as winners of the United for Hockey inaugural cup were announced. The Mayo College winning the tournament and the Sindhya School runners-up. Hosted by a group of enthusiastic alumni from boarding schools, the tournament witnessed participation from the schools they belong to, like the Doon School, Mayo College, the Sindhya and Wellams Boys School. Shresh, tell us a bit about, you know, what does this event mean for you and how do you see this as a platform for taking your sport further? Well, um, it was a great experience for us since uh, we don't have an AstroTurf in our school. So, playing on an AstroTurf gives us a different feel altogether and uh, it, it creates a great platform for us to play over it. Hosted over a period of two days, the tournament called United for Hockey is aimed at reviving the game and also to encourage sports at schools. We should uh, uh, compulsory it in every school rather than, you know, just having a one class of PT physical teacher. Even out of it, 11 lakh schools in our country, 60-70% a school they haven't have a basic uh, sporting facility people need to understand that sports should be played by the kids by the boys and girls if not for anything else at least for the for the uh, for the recreation purpose more than 80 students participated and 40 alumni and the plan is to make it bigger next year but definitely in the future we feel that we may invite more schools there are others that we play fixtures with regularly when we are in school like sanar uh, Bishop Cotton and, and so in the future we may look to invite some of those other schools as well. According to reports, less than 47% Indian students get access to a playtime of less than 60 minutes. Amidst all the pressure that schools and parents alike put on children to excel in an academic career, how does one who genuinely wants to pursue sports chase his dream? Perhaps events like these are an answer. With camera person Tulsi Daran, this is Richard Sujatia for NDTV.